Hello everyone, today we'll be looking at the Tetra DCTL. This video is a follow-up on the color balance DCTL video I did before. You can find it in the top right, in the little annotation, or on my channel. So to start off here, I have a basic conversion from S-Log3 S Gamma 3 Cine to Rec 709 Gamma 2.4, and a basic adjustment for exposure, as well as some white balance adjustments. So what you want to do, you want to edit after the CSD, we're going to call it Tetra, we're gonna apply the DCTL effect and we're gonna select Tetra. If you don't know how to install DCTLs, I'll leave a link down below to my first video in which I explain to you how you can install them. So the first thing you'll notice when you open up Tetra is that there are a lot of sliders. So basically what Tetra does is the same as your color warper or curves, but in a more intuitive and specific way. So let's say we wanna change our skin tone here. We can see that it's a little bit greenish and not really red, but at the same time, if I push it too much towards pink, it'll become a weird pinkish color. So we can go into red green, for example, and we can make it a little bit more red. These should be very precise adjustments because they're quite impactful. Now you can see that the skin tone goes from this greenish color to a little bit more of a red color, as well as the hair up here. Now, I do not really like the green in the back, so we're gonna change the green. Uh, we can add a little bit of saturation in the green to make the green a little bit more saturated. And we can make it a little bit warmer. And actually, we can tweak this slider quite a bit to get the right look. I'll get it a little bit warmer and then I'll add back in a little bit of blue to try and fine tune it into kind of a warmer green than before. There we go, it's a little bit warmer. Now you can also very specifically target white colors in here. So we go to the bottom of all these sliders and for example make it more white, which you see. You specifically remove colors from the white. So if we want it a little bit cooler, we can make it a little bit more towards this to start creating creative looks. As you can see, now we're getting into creative territory where we go from this to this. So we can tweak it a little bit more to find a nice color. One we like a lot. And there's blue to yellow. And there you go, you can see you take it from this little bit of a flat shot to a little bit more of a stylized shot. That's was a very powerful DCTL for look creation. So yeah, that's pretty much what the Tetra DCTL does. You can tweak all the colors in a very specific way and very quickly create a certain look. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. It was a bit of a short one and sorry there's no face cam. I'm short on time lately and I really wanted to put out some videos. Catch you all in the next one.